Okay, my friends, this is a serious discussion about the relationship to the gut and virtually every disease that's invasive. Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, autism, dementia, all the whole nine yards. And the reason, and they're, they're, all the articles are coming out now, day after day after day. And I just put up a two-hour video about this because it, it, it relates to chemical activities going on in the membranes and that relates to the enzymes that do the chemistry very 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 fast they're catalysts and the only way you get the enzymes is the bacteria so we're back at the bacteria where do they live what do they do what are the kind of species how do they interact how do they manage the maintenance of the body because they are the maintainers of your body they create the chemicals to break down the foods to kill invaders to move things and transition garbage to the dump to 100%. So you should be watching the videos that I just put up because everything out now is going to be about the gut and it affects your, your um, mental attitude and everything. All right, here it is right here. Gut micro microbial molecules in behavioral and neurodegenerative conditions. All those things are because of the nerve fibers literally the fibers being exposed and the the coatings of them the membranes are being invaded and, and you get all kinds of things happen where the nerve is supposed to send a signal it doesn't work now and they have never known about this particular membrane layer it says many discoveries are recent and the findings described in the perspective are largely novel new and unknown before and yet to be extensively validated. So they're saying, look at all this stuff, it looks pretty good, but they're new. However, expanding research into the dynamic molecular communications between gut microorganisms and the central nervous system continues to uncover critical and previously unappreciated clues in understanding the pathology, pathology of behavioral, psychiatric, and neurodegenerative diseases. It is all related to the membranes, pretty much. Very rarely does the, the actual genetic material be the problem. It does happen, but mostly it's they're invaded into the layers that surround the membrane, I mean the, the organs and the, the um, nerve fibers and all that, and then they, they get crazy. Now I just did, like I said, a two hour video, and I just did another one a couple days ago about this. And this is strictly research, and I'm not telling anybody to do anything, but we need to have a bacterial database because they create the enzymes, the enzymes create that chemistry, the chemistry is in the ribosomes, the ribosomes sit in the cells, when they're needed, they pop up and they do their job. Watch these other videos, very, very important. Not only does it affect all kinds of things in you, it even is your well-being and how you deal with stress. All right, this just came out a couple days ago. And it's a big, about the brain-gut microbiome plays an inf influential role on mental health. It's everything. It's the chemistry that makes your body run. The bacteria make the enzymes. The enzymes do the chemistry. Any link in that chain broken, you don't have the chemistry. You know, so many people have kids and friends that have autistic kids now. There's a lot of gut issues. Now, this is Marguerite O'Reilly and her son, John Jr., who had very serious, serious issues. And he has gotten substantially better. Now, she's running this group here on Facebook, Autism and Gut Health Issues. And she's trying to start a charity in um, Belfast, Northern Ireland. And I, she, I guess she's doing a pretty good job at it. I, I'm just doing the research. I'm not involved in any of that stuff. But if you want to come up and, and look her up, Autism and Gut Health, health Issues. And, you know, there is so much new information on this. Everything is related to your gut. Hippocrates, thousands of years ago, said every disease starts in the gut. Thousands of years ago. I'm going to leave it at that. Go back and watch these other videos. I'm telling you right now, you'd be very well advised to do that. All right, I love you. Bye.